ship services? You need it, I've got it. Assuming the technology works? It's a skeleton key for signal encryption. If what they say is true, ratchet encryption, signal protocol, frequency shuffling, even quantum state keys can be hacked. Now, I doubt it does all that, but it should be enough to crack the CBR-27 transponder that Galbank installed on the legacy. Take care of your ship, she'll take care of you. Meet with Juan in New Atlantis. She's expecting you. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. We'll talk later. You see, he'll never crush the fleet. They'd have to catch us first. to see her first face around So, when did you stop flying the Swan, anyway? When the cargo became more valuable than the ship. True. The fleet's got us real busy these days, and we are making good money smuggling all this contraband. But if any time was the right time for a break... Hey, there's still work to do. I need to check with my contacts at the spaceport and find out what goes on in rotation when we leave port. Then it's back to the key to make sure Delgado gets his cut and to make sure he hasn't cut us out. You know I want to chef's I worry school. sometimes that being in New Atlantis we're missing out on the big scores. I know that old dog has something big planned. I can feel it. I take it your neighbor's new recruit? Don't we all? Let's try not to be each other's wrenches. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. 
If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Good, then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. True, but silence is a powerful thing. I find the best way to get to know someone is to watch them work. Talking just muddies the picture. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. We'll talk more on the ship. Nobody could stop the Crimson Fleet. Always looking for the next mark. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Excuse me. Alright, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. Now like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. We'll grab jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. 
Roger that. Yes? What? You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare Arthur. your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Howdy. I'm the pilot of the Jade Swan. She's a good bird. Never gets cranky. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. This is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place, except for the forklift. But that one guard, the, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so I'd rather not go there. I can help you with? Elijah? Probably lost the hair on the back of his head. I'll go see what it's about.
up okay? Been to the mess hall? State your business. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead.
I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance? How are the tests for the comms by doing? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Ah, it's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation. Uh. the team is looking for more test pilots? Yes, if you have experience flying, you should talk to a <sighs> Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of... Uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing. Outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters, <laughs> particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to MAST. Splendid! That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Really? And then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. 
You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. Reporting for duty, pilot? Another test flight, huh? You pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center. Yes? What? Hey. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Collect the space. All of what 
we scan your ship. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. That's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. You looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. The fleet protects our own, but you turn against us, and you're dead. Rook. So there I am. You see security on my... Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I've ever seen. Worm nearly got me dusted. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that calm spike. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. You lost Rook? Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Yeah, yeah, nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jenerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You're damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. 
All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking.